G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jean Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, but we are back in Demolishers Only. All the zombies in the game have been turned into Demolishers, the hardest zombie in the game, with a rather unfortunate tendency to explode pretty quickly, which is only going to make tonight worse. Tonight is Horde Night, I'm somewhat prepared, not especially prepared, I have a travesty of a Horde base base built out there, but there's a lot of work yet to do if we're going to stand any sort of a chance out there. So, despite what I just said, where there is a lot of work to do, last night, instead of going down into the mines, getting more stone to make some more concrete and do all the things I should definitely be doing instead, what I did is I changed my water gathering platform. I didn't like that the door here was off center with the house and symmetricality, the most important thing in any base building. So I spent my time moving everything across. Was it the right decision? Probably not. Am I going to die tonight? Happier that my base at least has the right layout? Yes. That doesn't mean though, I can just rest on my non-existent laurels and hope that everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna need you to crank out all the cement that you can. It's gonna take 20 minutes in you. That's not gonna get done with enough time, I don't think, to actually turn you into concrete, but it's just gonna have to do. I've got my nail gun already on me. I've got a lot of things already on me, actually. You can get cracking onto that, please. Thank you. Nice. Let's get some concrete, get my coal, get my wood, and get set about building. Oh, and actually, run my electric fences as well. In fact, if I build like a separate little bunker to house all my electronics and just run the wiring out to run the electric fences, that'll probably be the best idea. But I also need to take you. I need all of you. It's all looking like a nice, clear, although very crated morning. That's bloody lovely. No demos to be seen. Okay, I do to the go and see Trady this morning as well. I have a quest to hand into him from yesterday. I'm, I'm not really like super dependent on what loot is going to give me this time around. I have to stay focused on my base building. But how am I actually going to do this? Where's going to be the... Oh, so yuck. I'm disappointed in myself for building this contraption that... Ugh, I don't want to look at the bloody thing. I kind of hope the demo's tear it apart like it's bloody Lisa so I don't have to look at it anymore. Could we repair you, but I think maybe even just like chucking down like a bunker out over here, up off the ground, with enough distance and enough span to run to the first layer of electric fences, which would be about here, I think. That'll hopefully be enough because I can run electric fences from that across to the electric fences on the other side. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that's the best way. Before I do that though, I'm just going through and making sure that all the cobble that I left over last time is concretified. I'm gonna have to re- Ooh, geez, I have to reinforce these ladders as well. There's ab I've absolutely seen a lot of better days. If those ladders go down, the zombies will stop coming up. There's repairs to do everywhere. Half this base is Swiss cheese. Get you up. Good. Was there anything? that I forgot down here. I don't think so. I mean, look, it's it's ugly. It's not much, but it should do the trick. I'm mostly relying on the ammo. I reckon just about here. Don't want it to be too close. The demo see it as an option, but I also need to make sure I sink the foundations down into the deck like you. Make sure you're concrete because the demos have that damage buff against regular dirt. So if it's not sunk down onto foundations, the dirt underneath will get exploded and the whole tower will come down. And I don't really need it to be all that high. Potentially only this. That seems about right, actually. Because after all, this isn't really a place where I'm going to be defending from. I just need to keep it out of the way of the demos. And make sure if I do go into destroy everything mode, it'll stand up to a couple of inadvertent hits. The trader is open now, so I should go in and say g'day to him relatively soon. But just to make sure I finish off all of this. I need enough space inside to actually house all of the electricity. And I think out this side here, I'll leave like a ladder or something. Those scaffolding ladders, the ability to reach through them, which you wouldn't think would be such a great asset in this game, but I'm telling you, is the bee's nipples. I put that on that side. I can run the electricity through there nice and simply. I am wasting much XP not having my um, learning elixir go, but that's all right. Up to you. I can make the jump. Okay. So just like through here, I think. I don't need the ramps anymore. I need the you. In fact, you're going to stay as a ladder. That'll be fine. That one then. And the rest of this can all just be irregular blocks. Do we make good progress already? I've basically built like a water tower. But 
<laughs> it looks more like a mushroom. It's going to be an electrified mushroom like a playing bloody Mario. All right, you're all good in here, though. I'll get you out of the way and you out of the way. I need you and you. Generator first on... No, sorry, that's the battery bank generator on this side. So you're all nice and connected. That to that, I would also like to run a switch so I can easily turn everything off and on again. And in fact, you know what? I might even... I might even put an escape route. Because if I have to come up here during the horde, I don't want to, but stranger things have happened. And if I have to very quickly bail out the roof, I, if I can't get down the ladder, I need another way out. So I'll come out this way. I'll put a hatch on top of that to keep it all nice and safe and secure. Beautiful, actually. I mean, look, it's it's a bit of an eyesore, but apparently that's all I'm building these days. But as long as it does the job, I'm okay. I'm already feeling the pressure a little bit. It's 11, 8 a.m. I barely even started building, but I'm already very aware that I'm not I'm not too many bad decisions away from this all crumbling down around me. Especially with the armor piercing arrow as well. If I tickle a nip down the end down there and any of that area there gets exploded, it's going to be another night sprinting around and probably back on top of the roof of the passing gas. Haven't managed to find a quest to reset that joint yet. It might need a little bit of reinforcement just in case, but that's going to have to wait. I've got to go play. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, get to the bunker. Oh, get to the bunker. They're coming up. They're coming up. Whoa. I'll oh, just fire a quick little round to get the rest of their attention so they're at least controllable. You need to come back this way, please. Why? Why are you pathing this way? Why aren't they pathing the proper way? Oh, thank goodness I called him in there because things are wrong. Things are broken. Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? That is a significant issue. Um, I tested this last night though. You were supposed to be... You were working fine last night. You've already broken a fucking block. I'm so concerned. Remember what I said two seconds ago that I was really worried that this was going to go badly for me? Immediately, they've gone badly for me before the horde not even freaking started. Rude. Oh, that's even ruder. Hold on. Hold on. God. Oh, it's sick. Oh, get a cover. Oh, my God. Just go. Just go. Just go. Oh, I got in a hole. I got in a hole. And it saved my bleeding life. Holy shit. I cannot believe I got away with that. I cannot believe I got away with that. I dove in a crater hole and lay on the ground and took cover and it saved me. That is ridiculous. <laughs> So I should mention, when I first realized that taking cover behind blocks actually protects from demo explosions, the way that I kind of tested that was out in the craters over there. I set off a couple of demos nearby and hid in a hole and realized with any block between me and them, even just dirt, it would keep me safe. That was the theory. That was the, <laughs> that was the experiments. I'm alive. How the fuck am I alive? Well, now that we know for sure that any cover is good cover, I need to undo all the damage that they just did to this place. Uh, I, I, I need you to be a step, really. I don't really need much more of you than that. You can take that. Oh my goodness. Why, why did they not path properly, though? That's such concerning revelation. They just decided to not follow the path laid out for them. Is it because... Of this? I mean, they should be... They were pathing on that. They should be able to path on that. What if I get, like, a sheet or something? Just something to stick on the top of this so that there's no gap here? Maybe that's why they didn't like it? Can you actually... There you go. I've clicked on it 40,000 times and it's still not bloody working. Put you up to the top, please. Like, you and you. you can still run through, so that's fine. But they... I don't know. It was working before. What's changed? I don't think I'm ever going to get the answer for it. I'm just going to have to hope that this is going to stand up during the horde. Like, the bars aren't even steelified yet. They're still only concreted. So that's only going to get stronger, which means they're going to see that as a less a, a less viable option. It was very key with it for a second. A less viable option than it already is. I don't know, but look at <laughs> There's not a lot of that road left over. Day 35 has turned red. The road has turned red with pints of my own blood. Great. <laughs> this, this is going swimmingly. G'day, bud. No public bathrooms here. 
and don't nope. be peeing on the floor. <laughs> I promise you, after the adventures, the things you heard outside, I don't need a bathroom anymore. That um, that need has somewhat great. escaped me somehow. Yes, don't I, I don't want to explain how. Head. Right, you've got some steel, you've got some skill magazines, you've got military gloves, which a Bedlamon currently wearing. Ah, uh, customized fittings or a steel spear. It's between the military gloves and the crafting magazines. Mm, I think I'm going to keep pushing for the magazines because I really want that motorcycle or a gyro will be even bloody better. I'll take that. Thank you. I need to check though. T1 jobs, I think it was. 400 meters. Nothing looks close. 300 meters. 100 meters to the northwest. Interested in it. No, fuck off, McCormick. Right. I'm not looking for that Seat shit. Yourself. I'm looking for my bloody passing gas. And it's not going to work for me. There, There's none. There's none. If you agree to nah, shit. Me, All right, I'll sick. You, you didn't even give me any vehicle books either. That's a stitcher. Well, all that unfortunate nest this morning aside, I need to keep on pushing. Generator bank goes to batteries. Batteries goes to switch. And then switch, I need to see how long you're going to run before the cable turns red all the way out to about here. And if I jump, does it go? Yeah, okay, so this is the block. This is the block. I'll get rid of you. I need to change you back out again and chuck down that spot there, I think. Although I'm a little bit... Mm, no, that's okay. Because I'd be like right in, front of the, uh, right in front of the gate. That's like the last resort. So that's fine. I'll make sure I chuck you in a different dome. Make sure I'm doing my due diligence and putting the foundations in. You don't want any mishaps today. So last time I got into trouble by uh, putting the electric fences at ankle height... Don't know when they patched that and that stopped being effective. I used to put that up always. So crawlers and dogs and anything that was in there was always going to get zapped. With the higher electric fences, crawlers and uh, spiders as well can crawl underneath them and doggos as well, which I never bloody liked. But apparently that's been nerfed because having fun is illegal. So I'm going to check you up to there. I'm running out of cobblestone. And go like that. Quickly grab a ladder. So huh, I can do my next step of grabbing... Where are you? Smack bang in the middle. That looks bloody lovely. That should be wired up nice and easily. And then from you, across to the other side. And we should be laughing. And this is why I wanted to run those scaffolding ladders just there. Because I can grab you. And I can go straight out to you. Like that. Couldn't do that if I had to go back down to the ground again. Just a bit more tedious. But that is bloody bonzum. Bloody perfect. And you've got to get some batteries as well and some engines to run this. But the start of my defenses are going up. I've actually inadvertently, I've, super deliberately and with great purpose of forethought, I've uh, lined up the electric fence pillar with these pillars. So, okay, that works out fine. I need to go the same amount of distance though. So from here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10, I think. Two, three, four, five. Oh, geez. It's not going to be quite symmetrical. I'm going to have to go like here, I think. That's going to be about as close as I can get for the wires to actually reach. But as long as it's not right next to it, I think it's fine. It's going to irk me forever if I don't do this. So I'm going to gamble on something that I haven't really tried in a long time. Two, three, four, five. Though in fairness, I haven't really tried electricity in a long time. But it used to be, uh, up you go to them, that if you were inside the black cable area, you could still reach outside the black cable area, even if it would normally be red, to place down like a connection. So that is going to be way too far compared to that, but uh, it's symmetrical. And that's that's more important to me. It's all evenly spaced. And if I click you, it should hopefully... And it does too. Like, that's a ginormous span. That's a ginormous electric fence span. But if it works, it works. So stoked with that one. It's all nice and even on both sides. That makes all parts of me happy. Bonza. Just wanted to test that before... Uh, just wanted to test that, rather, before I concretified everything. I think it makes more cobblestone as well, but we're all right. Oh, it's already after midday, though. This is getting... It's, kind of, it's getting to the point of the end of something. I've got all of my little Tesla tower things all looking good. I'm going to go straight from you to that one. I normally... I normally hate daisy chaining, especially electric fences together, because as soon as an electric fence dies, the whole system comes down, but... Short of running, well, I've done it in the past, short of running electric relays underneath the towers from each one to each one, 
I mean, that's obviously the better idea, but I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time for that today. You get your up and going. They do the other side as well. Still need to go and reinforce the passing gas if I get the chance to, but this definitely has to take precedence. Not only that, once I'm done here, I've got to also run... I've got my turrets here to take care of my AA problem. Just shoot the pigeons out of the sky and not make me have to worry about it. Just, just keep going. Just don't worry about what's going to happen to you later. Just keep on going now. I've done all the hard work. All my columns are looking good. So now I just need to run from each electric fence to its paired electric fence. I suppose you could have gone like in S's, like drawing cool S's back in high school that apparently everybody did before the internet. You could have gone like, like serpentining across each of the things, but I kind of like the idea if I have to do repairs, all the ones that need to be repaired are going to be on that side over there. Now, repairing during Horde Night just isn't going to happen. That's <laughs> just nobody. Thank you, but at least this way, I know exactly where I need to go. It seems like the right move. That's all the electric fence is done. Right down the guts of it, but not right above the ladder. Jeez, I hope that works. Okay, well, job one for the day is done at quarter to three in the afternoon. Now, I just need to put in some, uh, some turrets up the top and... Start hoping. I don't think there's a super good option for this. Potentially, oh, I, don't, I want like the crossfire. Well, instead of having them both facing the same way, crossfire like that, maybe just like facing each other and firing over the top of each other. That might be the way to go. The la I think it is this side though, because I don't want them shooting demos at any points. So if you're like them and facing up, then mo most of the, the pictures I think are gonna come onto that side. I think, uh, yeah, I think that's, I gotta protect me. And not really worry about the rest of it. You go then, you go there. Here's a bunch of ammo that I brought just for you. Didn't scrap them for a change. You're bloody welcome. In goes you, in goes you. Uh, I was going to wire that one to that one. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to wire directly from that to you. I might have to chuck in a relay somewhere or even kind of go like that. It does make that one electric fence post a little bit hypercritical, but I get, oh, you know what? It's, uh, we're just going to have to roll with it. Just going to have to roll as best we can and hope that that one doesn't die. It's definitely looking much more like a proper horde base now than it did before. I could have even, I could have even chucked in one of the SMG turrets over on the little electric mushroom over there. Because that would give me pretty decent cover, but I think that's still the right move. At least I hope so. But now that we've done that, just going to take a little bit of time, a little... Oh, my goodness. A little bit of cobblestone. You're going to make some more. Just to quickly reinforce you. I'm not sure how I did that, but all right then. Just to try and get this thing as sturdy as possible. Because if I have to bail, getting back on top of the passing gas will be my first port of call. Just reinforce the important parts. The corners of the building, there and there. Like, yeah, I know the demos will target it, but at the moment it's held together with toothpicks, which aren't particularly strong. I'm not <laughs> I'm not even sure how I should reinforce this back bit here. It's a it's a divot, like someone's trying to dig to find Michael Jordan. Uh that might be a little bit beyond me. That's all yours, bugs. No point uh, repairing that one. It's not actually doing anything for anyone. That's all still pretty well supported out the Oh! Out the back. Sorry, doggo. Oh, actually, I need your bones. Not to make my bread, but to make some glue. Thank you very much. Carve you up. Beautiful. I think... I think that's about as good as I'm going to get this place. Most of the corners are still looking all right. The middle's got not a lot, actually. Hold on. Chuck you into them. Carve up you and grab my nail gun back. What's the time? Oh, it's already quarter past four. While I'm here, I'm going to quickly get crafting two storage boxes i've got the electric mushroom and i might actually use that all right use that to be storage for my horde night gubs my everyday carry gubs like rather than coming all the way back here when not if because i've already i've done it several times now when i forget something if i'm going to store everything out there i have less to worry about you can go like that i'll just keep the rest of concrete in here for now how are you doing heaps of conk in you we're gonna go like 420 in that one and do the same in this one nice basically got it evens which i'm always stoked about all right you guys can go away wood cobble um, most of the wood can stay here. You can stay here. I need cobble. 
I just, I just need some more cobble. We've got 100 left. It's barely any. Sure. Another 420? <laughs> Seems to be the number of the day. I don't have an awful lot of batteries, but I'll take you and you. Uh, the vehicles box. We'll have some engines. I'm not sure how many engines I'll need. I'll take, I'll take three. We'll run more on petrol power out of the hall base than battery power, I think. I don't need that much fuel. We'll just go like that. Leave the rest into you. I, I put the battery bank down so I want to use it, but even so, I think the engines would be the better uh, the better call on that. Is there anything else I need to grab while I'm here? Probably start taking out some of the horde night gubs, actually. Got shit loads of ammo now, which I love. Molotovs are basically worthless. I'll take some mega crushes. I'll take you and you and you and you. Gravy toast gives me extra stamina as well. Bloody beautiful. Recog, broken leg stuff because I'm a Muppet. Um... I still got concrete blocks in here. Shit, I could have used those a second ago. Although, now nah, I could have used those for the pylons. Don't, don't try and make yourself feel better. I grabbed all my boxes of ammo as well while I was here. Box of AP762. I'm missing gunpowder again. Like, can I make any more of you? I can't, but, well, I mean, I've got the mine down in the hole down in the garage. So if I need to get some more, it's not too far to go. Go out here. Back down to you through the open doors and back on the bike we go. All right, I actually feel better. Now that I've got all that built and all the electricity run, I feel much better. All right, well, small issue. I made my electric mushroom so small, I can't actually put any storage in here. <laughs> That's on me. I'm gonna put 500 fuel into you. In fact, I'm just gonna refill you all the way because why not? You can have that one and that one. You're all still wired together, I'm pretty sure. So the only spot is like there. <laughs> Which isn't, isn't great. Chuck all this shit away and then take all the things back out again that I might need. So maybe my everyday carry box just becomes... Oh, I could I put it in the floor? No, because the floor is the pylon. This is, this is tiny. It's claustrophobic and tiny and there's no room for anything. I can't even store the shit I need to. It's after 6 p.m. now, so the thunder and lightning is going to start clapping and warning me the horde is on its way. Oh, I need to get the steel. I need to get the steel and upgrade these things. That's the most critical part. That's got to be steel. My bars are going to be steel. I almost forgot about them. And in fact, I can use that opportunity. Nah, you know what? No, don't, don't, don't. I was going to say, I can leave all like my regular stuff back at the house again. But every time I do that, I start thinking, oh, I can do this one more thing. I can do this one more thing and I'd be fine. But the tools to do said thing are more than out of arm's reach. So I'm not going to do that this time. Straight up we go. I should have made this way a little bit quicker. It's still a bit convoluted, but we're fine. Um, right. Okay. I need the steel. Heaps of steel. I'll take all but one. In fact, do you have any more for me? Yeah, you do. Love that. Beautiful. And thank you for that one too. Okay. Just get what you need and get out of here. I think that'll just about do us. Got the steel. Got my tools. There's no more ammo. Anything I need out of you. That's just all regular ammo and garbage. Materials. No. In fact, actually, I'm going to need some more repair kits. Oh, sorry, Dark Taste, but I'm going to need them. 11 repair kits is probably a lot, but then I have to think about making them later on anyway. You're all fine through there. Food and water. I'll take some coffees because I am going to start pumping in an obscene amount of questionable things. Four bites. I've got some of those. Got recall back at the house already. I need to mitigate damage, do extra damage, and try and live. Oh, <laughs> so many roids as well. <laughs> if I snap my legs, at least I'll be able to move. All right, I think that's it. I think that's it. Everyone wish me luck, please. House, I really hope to be inside you again before too long. In fact, you guys are... Oh, I need to empty you. I need to empty you so that you're nice and full when I come back in the morning. Couple bits of water out of those ones. No idea what to do with you, so just chuck you away. I need to turn them into like yucca juice or red tea or coffee or something, but that's going to have to wait. All right. Close the door behind you, please, because I'm a homeowner now. Can't ha come back to find a whole house full of demos. I was putting everything away. I forgot. I forgot something very important. I'm still... Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? It's... I picked you up. Did you, like, wipe out the turbo or something? You better bloody not have. Now you're still in there. Still got the supercharger. Nice. I don't know what was going on, but... I need to change over the mods for my red sniper rifle. I don't want it suppressed. I want it to be as loud and boomy and damagey as possible, which means muzzle break. You might work too. In fact, you, mo you both might benefit from that. 
Uh, hang on a second. You, modify. You've already got the rad remover, so we'll chuck in that one. The rest of you guys look fine. Modify you. You piss me off to no end, and I don't really need hip firing accuracy. Oh, actually, maybe. If things go badly, maybe. So I might keep on there for now. The rest of you all look fine. All right. Uh, you can go back in there. You can back in there. You can back into the into the horde night box. All right. Good enough. Going back. So the batteries don't actually have enough juice in them to run all of the things I have. I need not on what's the power. You guys are all on by the looks of things. I bloody hope you work for me this time. Last time I tried to rely on electric fences, it went badly. I'm going to put in you immediately because I'm thirsty and hungry. Just take care of that. Chuck in one of you as well. I've got the mega crushes if I need. Coffers go back to there. Learning elixirs as well. We're going to open up a couple of stacks of armor piercing 762. I don't need anything else out of you. I don't think I've got some concrete on me. Got the steel still. I mean, most of us can be upgraded from the boxes anyway, but that gives me enough time to quickly go. In fact, you need to get... Oh, that's the sound of the turrets. I was wondering what that bloody noise was. Although I can't... I, I can't uh, uh, modify them from here. I need to get up there to aim them properly. Hold on. You. Uh, yeah, lad up. Uh, jump onto that. And then up you go. All right, you. I need you to aim like that. And then... Uh, no, there you go. Up you go. And then you aim like that. Just please, under no circumstances, shoot any demo nips. That's all I want from you. I think everything's looking as fine as it can be. Uh, you need to be steel, steel. Oh, oh, you haven't even repaired yet. That's one thing I didn't do, actually. And I might try and do before it kicks off. Is just quickly go around and just scout out to see if anywhere else has been beaten up because I did do, yeah, see, I did do a fair bit of damage before and I haven't fixed everything. Less than an hour to go. Less than an hour ago. I'm doing something I should have done last week. Most of this all looks good. I did have a couple of accidental clicks and wasted some steel, like right there, but that's okay. Oh, I can't go this way because, I mean, we need to test it, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, the electric fences are working fine. We're all good. It's fine. You've got to put your body on the line for Horde Night occasionally. I had to make sure that it was all up and cracking. Or sizzling, rather. All right. I think I'm about in as good a position as I'm ever really going to realistically be. Chuck in that one. So now it's just waiting. Yeah, that trainee's going to close up shop. My mushroom's safe. That, somehow, my electro mushroom looks better than this contraption. What have I done here? Just using the rest of that steel to upgrade you. So any... Any demolisher facing parts of the base are nice and steelified. All right, you need to be loaded with. But I'll leave. Which which one's the higher rated one actually? I think it might be the red one. Double check real quick. Load both with the same ammo. One twenty one. Okay, so the purple one does the higher the higher damage. I'll leave you loaded with regular ammo. I'll put the AP into the red one. All right, ready or not. Here we go. Before I forget, I'm going to make sure I put in my learning elixirs. Three of those. Oh, actually, three of those should last me. I've got four skill points. Where's Iron Gut? You, Iron Gut. The next level, you. Please make it last even longer. I can already hear a pigeon. Hopefully, my A, -A or my A, P, A, V, whatever. The anti-flying thing upstairs will work for me. One more should get me all night's worth. There it is, beautiful. I'll also chuck in the recog as the demos start trotting over. Get everybody. Get a little sizzly for me. Heaps of time. Bags of time, mates. Uh, anything else here? Chuck in. We're going to go four fights for now. This is going to absolutely ruin my hydration, but that's fine. Not a big fan of drinking water anyway. Get three of you in. That should give me all the three big things that I need for all night long. It'd be nice to last all night long for a change. First time for me, first time for most people watching this, and first time for the demos too. Boom! There's definitely a bit of a clusterfuck going on down on the, the entryway to the platforms, which is a bit of a shame. It means that, you know, a lot... Oh, you know what? If they're just jiggling like that, don't have to use the AP ammo if they're not in a line. I can just go with the regular ammo and pop them all like balloons at a birthday party. Get on. Gone. Gone. Yeah, look, that's 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 easy pickings. That's 
That's made this far easier than I thought it was gonna be. I was anticipating I just pushed through it, but turns out electric fences, goated. I'm gonna regret saying this out loud because I'm going to jinx it, but really, the only thing that can cause me to come a cropper now is me. And if I do something especially, especially egregiously bad, like accidentally shooting a nipple right down the end and then breaking the pathing, <laughs> it's all gonna come tearing down very quickly. Look at this though. They go blue, they go dead. They go blue, well they don't go dead. And they go squawky instead. So to like, is there like a randomization to how much health demolishers have? Because sometimes one shot's enough. The next time, one shot's not enough. There goes a pigeon. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Actually, you know what it might be? Because every zombie is a demolisher, but it still spawns in as like an Arlene or a Darlene or a cop or a white or whatever. Maybe their like their fluctuations in original health actually have some effect on how much health the demos have. Maybe they've all got different health bars. That'd be pretty interesting. So I should have realized before now. I've got five skill points to spend now. I am racking up kills and I am racking up experience. I wouldn't mind checking to see how much, uh, how many demolisher kills I've gotten in this series so far. Like, yeah, they've killed me twice or nope, three times. I take it back. I'm on my last life now. Oh, but they're bobbling out the back there. That's what worries me about rolling AP. Because he's back there on a different level. If he goes up an inch and I fire an AP through a bunch of zombie heads and hit him with the back, he's going to explode. So actually, there's actually a downside to running the electric fences because they, because there's like a crowd now. They're not running and moving as smoothly as they were without it. Interesting. Something to keep in mind. But for the moment, regular ammo was doing the trick. That's a good little cluster, actually. Going to go back to the AP for a moment. I was just talking about how sketchy it was, but as long as nothing really untoward happens, this should be the better option. 51,000 experience on the trot. That is bleeding ludicrous. Want to get an early kill so I can keep, keep the thing going. I was going to say, can the bloody... I put the tires up there for one region. There's a pigeon squawking around. Do your bleeding job. I'm definitely doing more. Look at the loot bags. This is going really bloody well. I've got six skill points to spend now. And I might even... You know what? I think it's time. I think it's time I bought that last level of perception. And in fact, you know what? Uh, go fast. Huh? Oh, get out the door, please. I'm going to quickly grab those other goggles, which are right there. So I can get those extra XP boosties. I hear a doggo, but doggos are fine. Back up we go. Everyone's still sizzling down the end. No harm. I mean, well, some harm. A lot of harm and a lot of fouls, but we're all good and gravy there. Oh my God. We're not good and gravy. Electric fences are gone. Why? Why? Why did you do that? Is that because I jumped down there for half a second? My dream of getting my XP gongs has cost me my electric fences. Remember when I said that was the one critical piece of infrastructure? That's the one part that I can't lose? They knew. They knew the bloody demos in their advanced civil engineering degrees knew exactly where my weaknesses were. Oh, they're the most educated, brainless beings on the planet. God damn it, you bloody superstars of all things structural. Well... I guess it was a nice couple of hours while I had electric fences, but now that and my turrets are all gone. I'm actually super upset. I'm super upset. It was going well. I started thinking, that's, that's what went wrong, actually. I started thinking, oh, this might actually be a pretty doable horde. I don't know if things go this way. The electric fences are keeping them down then. All I gotta do is hit my shots and I'll be fine. But no, I had to go get greedy because I wanted... The bloody XP goggles that I, I was actually wearing for a second. A couple of bits of XP has cost me so much. And now I'm panicking. I can't hit a sausage. You need to not. Why is there a demo down there? You need to not too. And you all need to piss off what is happening. Why is everything gone so wrong? I can hear a pigeon, but I can't take my eyes off the prize for the moment. In fact, I got a cage weapon, which is good, but I didn't bring an AK or a tacky boy or anything that's not a sniper rifle. There you go, to try and take care of those bloody birds. Four more skill points to spend. I just spent three and I've got four more to go again. Straight through. I hear, I hear, where are you? There you are. That'll, that'll have to do. <laughs> this is not clean anymore. It was so good, now it's so not. This is also a pretty good time to remind everyone. Remember I was talking about how I don't normally daisy chain the electric fences together? It's for exactly this reason. Oh, 
Pigeon. I, I don't know how that didn't hit you, Pidgey. Oh, that that bloody alert uh, still blocks these a bit of days. Oh, they're right here. They're right here. Hold on. Missed it. Missed them all. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm floundering. I'm all over the bleeding shop. Just don't panic, Josh. We're doing that all bloody week. And it was working out well. I would love to have the two time scopes. We can see what I was doing, but this I have to do for now. I think you died. You did die. Gone. Gone. I just need a little bit of a gap so I can take care of you. Shit. Go faster. Come on. No, don't go away from me now. I, I need you to come back so I can sit you. Sit. Gone. Good. Okay. Hit the one bar. I couldn't get the bullet through. Thank you for that one. I need to do repairs. I need to do repairs. You. You've definitely seen a lot of better days. You've been scraped and scraped and torn away. Oh, come on. Reload faster. These dogs down below are really causing me some issues. Oh, you're causing me issues too. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry you didn't have all of my attention for half a second then. Bloody hell. Um, you. There's a couple of doggos. I need to actually hit them though, please. Oh, shit. Hold on there, yeah, chief. I'm just dealing with so many problems at the moment. That is the issue with having ladders down there. Not stairs is that doggos can't come up with ladders. The little poories can't grab the rungs. So they're just going to beat on the base of my pylon forever. And that is going to be, before too long, a pretty big problem. This is a pretty big problem. Oh my god, they do so much damage. They're so bleeding strong. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. I can, can, get the bloody bags out of the way, please. Hang on. Sorry, mate. I need you just to not be here for a second. Oh, no. Um, just anything. I need the bags in the way. I can't put things down because the bloody loot bags. The loot bags are awful loot. They're awful for getting in the way shit as well. Right, now there's bodies in the way. That's a problem. There's a hole. There's a hole in my defenses and I can't do diddly squat about it. You get that out of the way, please. Piss off, please. I've got something in. No, you sausage! You bloody prick! I needed that! I've only got one more block on me! I don't care what it is. It's just gonna be in the way so they don't fuck, crawl, throw it. Gone. Gone as well. Come on. Oh, get your bloody big ham fist out of my fucking house, please! I need to put something in that gap! There we go. You. And then you. I think I've got some steel. That'll have to do. That'll have to do. It's not pretty. It's not clean, but it's going to do the job. There's anything to keep him out. I think I need to, like, reevaluate several of my problems here. Why are you beating on shit down there? Why are you beating on shit down the end down there? You should not be doing that. That worries me. Anytime the zombies behave differently to what I expect, I start getting real nervous about things. Speaking of, why is there a demo down? No! Like a goddamn house plan. What the fuck? It's all gone. It's all gone. They blew up me house. You sack of shit. I'm, I was joking when I said I would be okay if you blew this shit up. I was joking about it. You bloody plum puddings. God fucking damn it. It's all gone. It's all over. Got an hour to survive with nothing but. AP rounds and me wits, and I've got about six wits between me. Fuck! I can still hear them breaking shit. They're trying to tear it down around me. Uh, everything loaded. Everything good, I think. There's definitely more coming. You need to fuck right off, please. Same with you, actually. Gone. Jesus. I can't believe I clipped a nip from above. People can tell me I should make a crawling base, but that's a great example of how they're actually really susceptible to getting their nickel, nipples tippled if uh, you um, look down from a wrong angle. So that's why I can't do that. I've already lost so much. This base was going so well. It was all going so bleeding well until rather suddenly it very much wasn't. I think we can all thank uh, the Fort Bites for keeping me alive through that one. I'm running out of ammo quick. I've got some boxes of AP that I haven't opened, but I shouldn't need to. But I just have some patience, have a bit of time, and actually light up a shot or two. I'll be in some pretty good stead. There's a lot of demos all over the place though. So much has been destroyed. I've lost my electric fences. I've lost the piles, the whole electric fences. I've lost my awful base. I mean, I guess it's an excuse to build something better, but oh my god.
<laughs> I can't believe that. There's 10 minutes left. Oh, not quite. There's like 15 minutes left. I'm getting ahead of myself already. Can't see past the bottom of their champion. Gone. I thought I heard a Pidgey. I probably did, but no time for that now. If he pecks me in the back of the skull like a magpie in spring, then I'm just going to have to deal. Hold on. You didn't die. Oh, oh. Teleport me, please. Get me out of here. Thank you. All right. Take the moment to just make sure we're all reloaded. We're all good. I'm going to need to put some of you in and probably another one of you in. Faster. Yeah, that's a couple of them. That's a couple of them. We've got a couple of bullets too. Straight down the guts like that. I want to get back up into my nice little safe spot. Miss that. Put it through it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good. Okay, we're all right. Cheeky little chance to refresh, reload, and figure out where the dickens everything went wrong, apart from all of it. It's a nice little cluster coming, but I'm just going to use regular rounds for the moment. Don't really think I need to... In fact, that's a good spot. All right. There. Beautiful. Oh, they cobbed that in the collarbone and kept on coming. Yeah, but there's a nice little group of them. That's when I use the AP. Otherwise, regular rounds for everyone. I think it's just... That last four now. Good God, there's a lot of loot bags. Look at my trees. Look at the sunrise. I can't believe we somehow made it to another sunrise. And with this, the last muck. Gone. He's not quite dead though. Might even just to really ice the cake. Finish you off with the spear. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I cannot. I cannot believe that. I've paused the game because I don't want to lose too much time of the next day because pretty clearly I'm going to need every last second I can possibly acquire to try and build something better. They tore the place apart. That, like, <laughs> the realization when I shot that nip, he turned red and started beeping and I realized I had to go and everything that I built was gone. That one moment will live with me for a long time. I'll see that in my nightmares for the next week and a half. But now we've made it through another week. We have to make it harder again. We have to turn it up. I have a dear, I have an idea even in my head about how that's going to be. But I'm not going to tell you right now. I'm going to leave that as a little dangle, a little like a little Mars bar under a fishing line to lure you back for the next episode because, oh man, it was bad enough already. It's about to get a whole lot worse. But I'll have to come back and find out how much worse it could possibly be in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.